you steer the ship with a, a, a controller, with a joystick from a gaming system, you know, a home gaming system. There's special training just to learn how to get into an escape suit in and out of that. It's it's a very tough thing to get into these kind of warm weather coveralls uh, that will float you if, you know, you have to bail from a ship or escape from a submarine. Beyond that, no real training. When we went down, it was just, there were communication problems on every trip I've taken of the four separate dives I'd taken with Ocean Gate. Every time there was a problem with at least, you know, sporadically communicating with the surface. And again, I don't think that's their fault as much as just that's the nature of the beast. You know, when you're going a, a thousand feet or 13,000 feet underwater, you're going to lose contact for a while. Before we went, we had never seen the sub. We didn't know anything about it. There's very little information on the website. I didn't know at that point that the that you drive the thing with an Xbox game controller. I didn't know that the ballast was, you know, used construction pipes. Uh, and then you get the tour and Stockton Rush, the designer of the sub, the CEO, explains to you that all of this stuff, the lights and the handles and the propellers, these are off the shelf parts because, well, not only are they inexpensive, but they're tried and true, they're mass produced. The part we care about is the, the pressure vessel, the capsule where the people are. And that he designed with NASA and the University of Washington. And uh, that he says is, is as locked down as it gets. His exact words were, everything else can fail, the lights can go out, the propellers can stop, but you will still be alive. You are bolted in from the outside, there are 18 bolts in a circle around the hatch. And by the way, they only fasten 17 of them. The 18th one is way up high. And they say there's really no mathematical difference. Um, so you're right. The really nightmarish scenario is that they are alive at the surface, bobbing away, running out of air, and unable to get out. 